Hi, it's me again with Corel Dolls Tips and Tricks. And somebody, I made this yesterday, and somebody commented on the video that depending on how you made it, and it really doesn't matter how you made it, if you go to Windows, Dockers, and Objects, or Object Manager, depending on which one, most lasers, and I shouldn't talk for all, are going to cut the out one first, the outside first, and then it's going to cut this inside last. That could possibly fall. So when you cut this circle out, the piece of wood that's holding all these is going to fall. If your laser bed has a little bit of warp to it or a little bit of unlevelness, it could fall. And then especially if you're cutting something this precise. Well, there's two. I knew, you know, because the old way I used to do would be to grab them and just physically move them up. And that would take forever with that many. Let's see how many there are. There's 33 rings. You'd have to move them up 33 times. But if you select them all and go to object order, and I've never even noticed this before, you can press reverse order. Now, if you look, it's going to cut the outside first, and it's going to cut the inside one. Well, it's going to cut the inside first and the outside last. Now, if we back up here, you can actually do that inside of here if you will, because there's more, because we have some text up there, you can't just control A, but you can grab that one, hold down the shift key and select that one. Now it's selected all the rings. You can right click your mouse, go through order and reverse order. So now it's going to cut that last, the outside last. So all these, will, that'll cut. If you see it's at the bottom, it's the first cut. That'll fall, but the whole piece is still on the whole piece of wood, if you can imagine if you had a piece of wood that was this big. So the outer ring is still part of that piece of wood or paper or whatever you're cutting out. Anyway, I hope that helped. Thank you for watching.